I didn't start playing guitar till um, I was 20, 20. And um, I was always obsessed with music, but I didn't think I'd ever be able to play music. I don't know why, but. So then I had a friend that gave me a guitar and I just became obsessed with it. And started writing songs, yeah. So yeah, the first 10 songs I ever wrote uh, where the, was the first record I ever made. It's pretty crazy. Um, some songs are very much at once. Like um, like the song Bleed, which is actually a piano song on the record, just came out as it is. Um, and then a lot of times I'll have an idea of what the song is, but it's very abstract. So um, I use the music as that. Uh, it's sort of like an abstract thing that, um, that the lyrics are there, but they're just not sorted out yet. It's hard to explain, but it's it's the the emotional um, intention is there. It's just that it hasn't been. Um, I know I don't ever really write the lyrics before, so. I think it's always the same for me, every record. Um, it's like a, um, it's just a thread. You know, I write from a, a human perspective. So it's not necessarily my personal story as much as it is all of our story, really. It's just like um, an impression of emotions. And so you can make the songs your story, just like, you know, some songs, when the first time you hear a song means something to you, and then 10 years later it can mean something else because it's applying to your life at the time as you live it. So that's really where the songs come from, is that. It's funny because um, that instrument was in the studio. It's a pump organ, and you have to use your feet to pump the air, which gives it sound. So we have to, in order to play, you have to play in time with what you're playing. So you're going like this to stay in time with what you're doing with your with your fingers and your hands. And so I just. I sat down and started playing it, and, and I just started thinking about the history of the, the instrument and how just incredible it was in those days before we had record players and, you know, that music was just what you did in your home. And um, anyway, I sat down and I told the 
engineer, can you just press record and go get a coffee or something? And um, I just wrote that song within like two minutes. Well, there's a, definitely a writer, a poet over the years that I enjoy. I don't read it very often, but not necessarily for inspiration to write music, but uh, Dorothy Parker, I'm a big fan of hers. Her, uh, her smart wit, you know, her uh, humor, and, but very um, realistic to situations. And, but I haven't been, honestly, I haven't been reading as much as I would like to because when I write a record, I really don't get influences from anywhere else. And I kind of uh, tend to not listen to music and tend to not watch movies and stuff while I'm writing. It's not intentional. It's just I get kind of in my own head and then, but then after that, I want to go see a ton of movies and read. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm not quite there yet, but I'm almost there. So we'll see. <laughs>